Guten Tag alle, Herr Wallace hier. Today we're going to work a little bit with the past, the simple past forms of haben und sein, and also the simple past forms of regular verbs and how to form those. And we're also going to look a little bit at coordinating and subordinating conjunctions, particularly the subordinating conjunctions of das und weil. So first of all, let's get started by looking at the past tense of the two verbs that we'll be working with a little bit here in this video. Haben, which in the present means to have or have, uh, and in the present tense conjugations, ich habe, du hast, er hat, wir haben, ihr habt, sie haben. But if we want to say had, then we're going to need the simple past conjugation of the verb. So that would be ich hatte, du hattest, er hatte, wir hatten, ihr hattet, sie hatten. Now, sein in the present tense, hopefully you're familiar with that, is ich bin, du bist, er ist, wir sind, ihr seid, sie sind. But if we're going to work with it in the simple past, we're going to change it to war. Ich war, I was, du warst, you were, er war, he was, wir waren, we were, ihr wart, you all were, sie waren, they were. So knowing that then, we're going to practice saying a few sentences here in German. I had a dog. In German, uh, the word for dog is der Hund. It's masculine. So this means that in this sentence, it is the direct object. And direct objects in German are going to be accusative case. So this will be ich hatte einen Hund. Now, if you're at all um, wondering what all that cases uh, stuff is about, then please, we'd encourage you to look at our videos. We have now numerous videos over cases and how they uh, how they are formed in German and what the what their role and purpose is. Do you have a brother? Hast du or einen Bruder? And when you say in English, when you see do you have, uh, people sometimes uh, when they're learning German want to translate the do and say what's do in Ger uh, in German, Mr. Wallace. And I just say, well, if you're asking a question, do you have a brother? You have to think of German as in more akin to Old English, which is have you a brother? So this is literally the way they would form it. Hast du einen Bruder? And here you can see a lot of the similarities between Old English and German and why German is con uh, English is com considered a Germanic language um, having that influence. Um, in our third example, did you have a book? Well, the way to form that in Old English would be had you a book, which is exactly the way it's formed in German, hattest du ein Buch. And because Buch is a neuter noun, das Buch, we're using ein, bit, even though it is the direct object, which of course leads us to the accusative. And of course, if you're confused about that, please check out our video. I had a good time, ich hatte eine gute Zeit. Uh, he was not there, er war nicht da, or dort. Where were you, wo warst du? If you wanted to do this politely, you could say, wo waren sie? That was very bad, das war sehr schlecht. How was the game, wie war das Spiel? So we're just using the simple past of haben and the simple past of sein in some sample sentences here. Now, I told you we were going to look specifically at these two subordinating conjunctions in German, das und weil. And what you need to remember when using these conjunctions in German is that the first verb that comes after them will jump to the end of the clause or sentence that follows them. So, for example, if we were combining two sentences, ich habe gehört, du kannst Deutsch sprechen, and I'm going to combine this using das and say, I've heard that you can speak German. It would look like this. Ich habe gehört, Komma, Komma. You want to make sure you put your Komma there before. Das du Deutsch sprechen kannst. And the normal order is du kannst Deutsch sprechen. But you can see here that the first verb, kannst, jumped to the end of the clause following the subordinating conjunction. Weißt du, das Herr Wallace doof ist. Ich kann nicht gehen, weil... Ich für den Test studieren muss. Ich kann nicht sehen, weil es so weit weg ist. So, just remember when using subordinating conjunctions, any of these, and we have a whole video over those, there's numerous, um, there are numerous examples of subordinating conjunctions in German, but das and weil are, buff, are um, the most common, I would say. 
Okay, the simple past, or a preteritum, sometimes referred to as the imperfect, of weak verbs. So when you have a weak verb in German, you find its root, and you do that simply by dropping the en or n, so for spielen, the root is spiel. And what we're going to do to form the simple past is add the endings t, test, t, ten, t, ten. So ich spielte, du spieltest, er spielte, wir spielten, ihr spieltet, sie spielten. So just remember, ta testa ten ta ten, and that's as easy as it gets for regular weak verbs in German. Now, irregular verbs, you simply have to learn those. They don't follow this example. For example, sehen, ich sah. And this is also true in English. For example, you don't say, I see it, you say, I saw. So it's also very similar. Okay, one trick you need to be aware of is if you have a verb that ends in a T, D, or N, or that the root of the verb, stem of the verb, if you will, ends in a T, D, or N after you drop the yin off, you're going to need to add an extra E before you add the T, 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 So, ich wartete, du wartetest, er wartete, wir warteten, ihr wartetet, sie warteten. Now, that may sound odd, and granted, in German, this is not often spoken. If you were using this in the past tense, you would be more likely to use the perfect tense, ich habe auf dich gewartet. But it's important for you to be aware of how that works, because you may see it written. Okay. Some examples of this. Ich spielte das Spiel mit dir. Of course, you could use the perfect tense and say, ich habe das Spiel mit dir gespielt. Uh, but we are using just the simple past here to emphasize it. What did you play? Think of Old English again. What played you? Was spieltest du? Or in the perfect, was hast du gespielt? He played for three hours. Er spielte für drei Stunden. In the perfect, er hat für drei Stunden gespielt. I waited too long. Ich wartete zu lang. Um, you may see that written. More often, though, spoken, you would hear, Ich habe zu lang gewartet. He waited an hour for you. Er wartete eine Stunde auf dich. And one note here, when we're saying in English, we would say it'd be okay for us to say, I waited for you or I waited on you. But in German, they prefer on you. And you would not say, Er hat eine Stunde für dich gewartet. That would be... Um, not so good, so you want to use auf dich. How long did he wait? Wie lange wartete er? Oder wie lange hat er gewartet? In the perfect tense. Okay, so now we're just going to combine or use our what we know about conjunctions in the simple past tense here to create a sentence that is in the simple past but also involves some conjunctions. In our first example, we're going to use the conjunction aber, which is a coordinating conjunction in German, which means that the word order will not change as it did with das and weil, what we spoke about earlier. So when you're using a modal verb in German, like kann, the next verb is going to be at the end of the sentence. So in English, we would say, I can speak German. But in German, they would organize it as, I can German speak. So ich kann Deutsch sprechen, aber ich kann Spanisch nicht sprechen. Okay, and we used aber here, and you'll notice that the word orders basically do not change when no verbs are jumping around to the end uh, as they would with a subordinating conjunction. I know that you played soccer. Ich weiß, dass du Fußball spieltest. I can also form this using the perfect tense as well by saying, ich weiß, dass du Fußball gespielt hast. But we're practicing here the simple past, so we're going to keep it with our theme. He waited for me because he was early. Er wartete auf mich, weil er früh war. So, I could easily form this in the perfect again, saying, er hat auf mich gewartet, weil er früh war. So, uh, here again, we're moving the verb to the end. The normal order is, er war früh, he was early. So, because we're coming after the subordinate conjunction, weil, we moved va to the end. She played soccer because she had the time. Sie spielte Fußball, weil sie die Zeit hatte. So here again, we are just using what we know. And I will give him the pencil because he asked me. Ich werde ihm den Bleistift geben, weil er mich fragte oder weil er mich gefragt hat. And one note on because in German, there is also a coordinating conjunction that means because, which is denn. And if you see that, then you don't have to move the verb to the end. Okay, so das war's. Vielen Dank für das Zuschauen. Auf Wiedersehen.